Hello everyone, hope you're doing good. Well, Windows 10 and Windows 11 has a very common problem that Wi-Fi keeps disconnecting or it's not stable. So to fix that, we will be doing very easy and very powerful steps. So make sure you watch the whole video and I'm very much confident that you will be able to fix this problem on your own. So we'll be trying all the methods and one of the method will surely work for you. So let's get started. At the bottom right corner, look for the Wi-Fi icon, click on that and go to properties. So here we are going to change the network profile. So what happens when we connect to the Wi-Fi, mistakenly we select public. So we need to select private and restart the computer and see if it's working for you or not. It may or may not work for you. We'll move to the next step. Once this is done, just do a right click on the start icon and go to device manager or you can press window and r and type dev and hit enter so the moment you do it device manager will be open for you now once the device manager is open we are looking for network adapters here we go so once we are here look for real tech whatever the wireless adapter you're using select that do a right click go to properties and here in properties we are looking for power management now once you click on that make sure this allow the computer to turn off this device to save power this should be unchecked it was by default checked and restart the computer and see if it's working for you or not if it's not click on the search icon type power and then you will find power and sleep settings now here in power sleep settings, at the right hand side you will find additional power settings. So we need to click on that. And here, whatever the balance, whatever the power plan is selected here, we just need to click on change plan settings. And here you will find change advanced power settings. So once you click on that, a new window will appear like this. So here we have so many options and we are looking for wireless adapter settings so once you click on that you will find power saving mode so I'll just maximize it and make sure this is selected to the maximum performance so once you select maximum performance click on apply click on OK and once this is done restart the computer and see if it's working or not if the wireless Wi-Fi is stable or not if it still keep on disconnecting then we need to look for a service for that just press window and R as in Romeo key together and here we need to type services now this all these troubleshooting steps will work on Windows 7 8 10 and Windows 11 absolutely so once you type it click on OK and here we are looking for this Wi-Fi service so I'll just press I'll just select any of the services and press W and then I will scroll it down to the bottom and we need to look for this W WAN auto -con now select it do a right click go to properties and make sure the startup type should not be automatic delayed manual or disabled it should be automatic click on apply click on OK and once this is done just do a right click again and click on start so this is a very helpful service and it should be running to make the Wi-Fi table and once this is done restart the computer and check once you're done if still have issues then we need to clear the IP logs and reset the network profile and for that we just need to click on the search and we need to type C M and once this is done we just need to click on run as a administrate once you do that it will ask you to say yes once it is opened we need to type net sh space int ip space reset and once you enter hit enter and it will reset the network we will run another command to reset the windsock for that we just need to type net s reset so it's netsh space winsock space reset and hit enter so once this is done you must restart the computer 
and see if your Wi-Fi is working again or not. If you still have issues, we will change the DNS of the computer. So custom DNS will be very helpful if your um, Wi-Fi keeps on disconnecting or if it's unstable. So we can fix that with the best DNS. So for that, we just need to press Window and R key together on a keyboard. And here, a run window will appear like this. And we just need to type ncpa.cpl and click on OK. So here, once the network connection is opened, you just need to select your Wi-Fi. So I can see my Realtek one here. So I'll just do a right click and I'll go to properties. And here we are looking for Internet Protocol version 4 TCP IP. I'll select that and click on properties again here you will find automatically automatically so we don't have to do any changes at the top we just need to change the use the following dns server so we will click on this and we will be entering the world fastest dns of google which is eight and then eight again and eight so this is the primary dns of google and the secondary dns will be eight dot so basically you just need to type eight 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 and uh, you don't have to type colon or dot you just need to use the mouse in order to move to the next slab once you have entered the dns click on ok and click on close and then we just need to restart the computer and see if it's working or not if you still have issues now for that we just need to open the device manager so just do a right click on the start and go to device manager and here we are looking for network adapter real tech adapter is here just do a right click and click on update driver so search automatically for the drivers and if it says the best driver is already installed what you can do is just do a right click click on disable and then once it is disabled enable it again so this will actually refresh the driver and see if it's working for you or not after restarting the computer let's say if you still have issues what you can do is just be on this network uh, i mean device manager and once you're here just do a right click and click on update driver again and click on browse my computer for drivers so let's say if, we, if your computer has updated and since then you have issues so there could be a problem that once you have updated to the latest version of the adapter it's not picking up so what you can do is here let me pick from the list available drivers on my computer so i'll click on this and here you will find the all the drivers which we had in this computer so what i would recommend to start from the bottom or from the top just one by one just select it and click on next and restart the computer and see if it's working and if it's not working then open the device manager again here be here again and select the next one and then click on next and try restarting the computer and see if it's working absolutely fine or not so this will fix 99% of the issues which I have shared there is one more thing which we can do try to look for the latest driver available on the manufacturer website so I am using the Realtek wireless in your case that can be anything like Asus, HP, Dell or any other um, network adapter here so just take the model number open the browser and make sure you visit the manufacturer website to download the adapter so since I'm using the Realtek so I'll just type real RTL or I will just type Wi-Fi driver so currently I can see the Realtek website is there and I will not visit any other website I will only visit the manufacturer website so I can see here the Realtek driver for the same driver which I have I'll just click on that this is just an example which I'm giving you so now these days adapters are there's so many different adapters so in the same manner you can try to update your device and see if it's working there is one more thing you can do it guys there could be a problem with the windows update as well so here in the search bar type windows and go to windows update settings and once this is opened 
So once you're here in Windows Update, check for the latest updates and see if you have all the updates or updates installed or not. In my computer, I can see feature update is available for 21H1 or 21H2. Whatever you have, you need to download and install it. So it fixes so many Wi-Fi and other stability issues. All right. So once the Windows update is installed, try to restart the computer and see if it's working or not. If you still have issues, what you can do is you can let me know in the comment section. I'll try my best to fix the problem. I hope for most of us it have it has worked. And if it has worked, please let me know in the comment section because it really motivates me. I'll see you in the next tutorial. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye, guys.